And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And what we have coming up for you is live action from Liga. Stuart, what are you expecting? Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. The lineup then for the hosts. Well, this looks to be a really defensive lineup. They've certainly not come here to dominate possession. But if they defend with urgency, they're going to be difficult to break down, that's for sure. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Marquinhos plays with Sergio Ramos at the back. Vitor Ferreira starts alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Lionel Messi. And they kick off here. Lionel Messi. Now, what can Lionel Messi do from here? Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And the PSG corner. Well, they fancy a short one. An example of how to press. I mean, let's face it, when Messi is on the pitch, you cannot take your eyes off him. What do you think he'll offer in this game, Stuart? Well, he's such a natural finisher. Oh, big chance here! Mbappe's finish, his goal. Well, here it is again, and the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. PSG looking dangerous. Firing it towards goal. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Has eyes for goal! High echelon goalkeeping there. Well, the short corner routine. Nicely timed tackle. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And the yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge.
They've regained possession. Mbappe. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Changama and offside well close one Verratti Vitor Ferreira. Mbappe. And here's Fabian. Well, able to close down the short. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Nuno da Costa. Mensa options in the center and making the run to the inside and let's give credit to the defending Messi so nearly at half time and the home side trailing albeit not by much Stuart your thoughts up to point well it's been a tight first half so far but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third if, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect them to stop it. So PSG get ready for the set-piece routine, hoping to increase their advantage. It's a short corner. Ferreira. Fabian. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Mensa. Toure has it. And Changama. Nuno da Costa. Can they trouble the opposition this time? And the cross comes to nothing. And good work to deny the chance. And the short option preferred. Gaëtan Perra. Toure has it. And Changama. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, just the sort of thing we expect from Lionel Messi in the first half, Stuart. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Determined defending. Kylian Mbappe. Vitor Ferreira. Fabian. Return to Mbappe. And a really good diving stop.
Messi with the corner. He did his job defensively. Fabian. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Perrin. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Difficult to stop him. And still looking for space. And no way through. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty. Mukiele. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? And he clears the danger. Vitor Ferreira. Bernat and still looking to get the shot off just made sure nothing came of that and into the last 20 minutes now potential danger oh it was a close run thing but the goalkeeper just got there first Bernat Messi Vitor Ferreira Mbappe now with Bernat oh surely what a block well he well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Good looking sequence. And reading it absolutely superbly. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Substitution it is for PSG. And he whips it in. Well, thumped clear. Fabian. Now with Messi. Mbappe. Measured ball intended for Renato Sanchez. Well blocked, but he must clear it away. Showing plenty of defensive acumen and conceding the throw-in. Sanchez. And he stopped them in their tracks. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure victory. Trying to pick out a teammate. Not messing around with that clearance. And there it is. A penalty given and a chance perhaps for them to finish this off. And to add insult to injury, it's a booking, Stuart. Well, I agree with the penalty. I'm not quite so sure about the yellow card, though.
And this could really make certain. And he finds the net. No difficulties encountered. Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it would be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the board in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. The thing about Lionel Messi is we expect that he'll take games by the scruff of the neck, and he's done that this evening. Well, we often talk about the goal scorers, but he was my pick for man of the match. He was everywhere, putting in tackles, making things happen, and, of course, he set up the goal.